18 months since Labor Minister Katie Gallagher backed a royal commission into the pandemic response. It was also Minister Gallagher who last year said that we need to know who was advising, what they were advising, whether the government took that advice at critical parts of the pandemic is all unclear because we haven't been given access to that information. We need the power of a royal commission to compel witnesses and of course the production of documents. But Dr Chan is under oath and she's given you the evidence, which is quite clear, so she won't be providing any documents. Tomorrow, the Albanese government is expected to announce a commission of inquiry into the COVID-19 response. He says, though, and he, it, that it is expected to fall short of the royal commission that Anthony Albanese promised when he's in opposition. A broken promise by Anthony Albanese. He went to the election promising a royal commission. Now, they're not delivering a royal commission. And there's only one reason why, Shari, and it's because a royal commission into COVID would have to look at national cabinet. So the difference between a royal commission and a judicial inquiry is that a royal commission could compel the states to give evidence. Absolutely. Whereas a, a commission of inquiry might not have that same power. So do you think this is a case of Albanese trying to protect the Labor state premiers? Absolutely, Shari. but then look at the different jurisdictions' reactions. And that means seriously examining the actions of Premier Daniel Andrews in my home state of Victoria, mm -hmm. where we were locked in our houses, uh, where we're still dealing with the mental health outcomes, particularly for our young people, and the behaviour of Anastasia Palaszczuk when, we sh when she slammed shut that so border think... between New South Wales and Queensland. TGA never pulled apart the injectables in their own labs. The TGA relies on what the manufacturers told them was in it. So they can maintain plausible deniability about what was in them. A Royal Commission should short out Professor Baffled and the TGA expert committees on what seemed to be a textbook case of mis malfeasance in office. On the issue of excess deaths, the latest Australian Bureau of Statistics data shows Australian excess mortality remains at 27%. 40,000 Australians are dead this year who should not be dead. Now, they're not delivering a Royal Commission.